Hey y'all, this week's quick tip is about adding emojis to your Google Drive folders and files. So you can see here, I have several different folders. They're color coded. I have some emojis and I'm trying to use some consistent naming conventions. All of these things will help you keep your Google Drive organized. But what I love about emojis is not only does it give me the visual, like I know I'm going to look for the light bulb when I'm looking for my Google certification materials, but it also is going to push those to the top of your folder list. So if you look at my list over here, everything that has an emoji goes to the top. It's like part of the alphabet. And I'm not exactly sure how they organize the actual emoji, but I do know what comes after it also has something to do with how they get alphabetized. So that default um, organization in Google Drive where it puts everything in alphabetical order can actually be to your advantage when you add emojis. And it's super simple to add an emoji. So when you go to select your folder or your file, you can do this with file names too. I prefer to right click and rename. And so this is where you're either going to copy and paste that emoji, or if you happen to have those keyboard shortcuts like I do, and I'm going to give those to you in just a moment, then you can pull up that emoji keyboard and actually add that emoji right there. And then I click OK, and you're going to see that one pops up to um, the next level. So I like emojis for that visual uh, guidance. It's great for students as well. Be sure to teach your students this trick. This is great. They'll love it. They may spend too much time picking the perfect emoji, but um, it is a great visual to something that can be text heavy when you're looking at Google Drive. Now, when it comes to using different applications to grab those emojis, there's a lot of different ways to do it. I am on my friend Tony Vincent's website, learninginhand.com, because he has posted so many places. I wanted to share this with you. If you don't follow Tony, you should. Emojipedia.org is one place where you can browse and search for emoji characters. Another one is emojicopy.com. And then there are tons of Chrome extensions. Be careful because I've used these over the years and a lot of times they cause issues. So um, mine have kind of slowed some things down, but that is another option if you like being able to grab your emojis right there inside Google Chrome. But you can also do this on the computer like I just did. So if you're on a Windows device, you can actually click on that little window uh, key plus the period, and that will pop open your emoji choices there. And if you're on a Mac like me, you can use Control, Command, Spacebar. And actually on the newer Macs, there is a little globe key in the bottom left-hand corner that you can make a shortcut to all of your emojis. And that is a great little time saver, y'all, because let's face it, we use emojis all the time. But I really do love using emojis and the color coding that I mentioned in last week's tip to help organize my Google Drive. And you know what? It's just a little bit brighter and a little bit more fun to look at. If you like this tip, click that thumbs up and ring the bell so that you get notified when new tips come out each week. Bye, y'all.